Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show how to solve any cubic equation. And if you learn this procedure carefully, you can solve basically any cubic equation, let's say in under three to four minutes. So for quadratic formula, for quadratic equations, we already have a formula, right? But uh, we do not have that for cubic equations. But actually we do, but it is all uh, usually skipped in school arithmetic. So uh, given the standard form of a cubic equation, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals to zero, we would like to find out the values of x such that uh, this equation is satisfied. So uh, there are a few steps we need to follow. But first of all, this is called Cardano's method. So Cardano back in, I think, 1570s, he made a method which you which you can use to solve cubic equations and you can solve them completely you can get all three values of the cubic equation in closed form using radicals and numbers so usually what people do is uh, they numerically approximate the roots that that can be done using newton ralston method and there are other approximations as well but cartanos method is a straightforward method to directly generate the roots so what do we do first so the first thing is step 1 for any cubic equation is make it a depressed cubic. Now, what is a depressed cubic? So, a depressed cubic is a cubic where we do not have basically the x squared term. So, that would be our goal. We have to remove the x squared term from the cubic in order to make it a depressed cubic. And how do we achieve that? That can be achieved using a certain substitution. So, first, what we want to do is in the standard form of the equation, we want to substitute x equals to y minus b upon 3a, where b and a are given by the coefficients of x square and a, uh, x cube, the leading coefficient. When you do this, what you get after you substitute this, you get a cubic in y rather, right? And that cubic equation basically looks something like this a into y cube plus. The y square terms actually vanish and you can do it as an exercise. You can just put in here and after you simplify everything, you will see that the coefficient of the uh, y square term is basically zero. So then there is the y term, the coefficient of which is c minus b square upon 3a into y. And then there is the constant term, which is the bigger term. So that is why people don't usually memorize this. But once you do it enough, probably you can memorize it, but I don't re recommend it basically. You just need to know the procedure. That is in minus bc by 3a equals to 0. This would be our depressed cubic. And using this depressed cubic, we can solve further and make, uh, make a, and find our values of x which satisfy the equation. And once we get one value, one real value that it has, then by polynomial division, we can easily uh, make other values. So for this, for the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to take an example answer. So let's take the polynomial v of x equals to 2x cubed minus 30x squared plus 162x minus 350 equals to 0. So let this be the polynomial and we are solving p of x equals to 0. This is what we need to solve for. So we will follow the procedure we have. So first of all, comparing it to the a standard form of the cubic equation, we see that a is basically 2, b is basically minus 30. In a similar fashion, c is 162, and d is minus 350. And that's why we have to make the substitution x equals to y minus b by 3a, right? So y minus b is minus 30, a is 2, so 3a should be 3 into 2 which means we basically need to do the substitution x equals to y plus 5. So as you can see, while when I put in numbers for actual equations, things are not as complicated as they were like in this slide, right? So uh, here we talked about how this could be a very complicated one because as you can see, uh, the constant term, the term uh, coefficient for y, all of these are very complicated functions of b, c, and a, right? But that doesn't really happen when you plug in numbers because they reduce to a single number, right? Okay, so when you plug in this value, what happens is this, we basically get 2 into y plus 5 whole cube minus 30 into y plus 5 whole square 
plus 162 times 5 plus 5 minus 350 equals to 0. And once you simplify everything from this, the resulting equation simply becomes y cube plus 6y minus 20 equals to 0, which is a depressed cubic. So this is a depressed cubic. So uh, we did not talk yet about what to do after we get a depressed cubic. So let's talk about that now. So I'll write the cubic here, the our depressed cubic, y cube plus 6y equals to 20. Now, step two basically revolves around the depressed cubic and how to manipulate it. So your goal is to find a depressed cubic <clears throat> of the form this. So y cube plus pa, uh, actually not pa, uh, it should be py equals to q, where pq are functions of a, B, C, D. That is the coefficients. So you have to find a depressed cubic and arrange it in the form y cube plus p y equals to q, and then make the substitutions 3 st equals to p and s q minus t q equals to q. So these are the substitutions that we are going to make. And uh, somehow after making these substitutions, our cubic is going to be solved, and we will see how. Okay, so first of all, comparing the equations, we see that p is basically 6, while q is 20. Make the substitutions, you see that 3st is basically equal to 6, while s cube minus t cube should be equal to 20. Now, with this in hand, from the first one, uh, we can cancel this one. Let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. So from 1, we do get this. From 1, we get st equals to 2, or in other words, we can simply write s equals to 2 upon p. And if you put this value in equation 2, you get 8 upon t cube because 2 by t whole cube minus t cube equals to 20. And if you multiply by t cube everywhere and then rearrange, you get a quadratic in t cube, which is t to the power 6 plus 20 t cube minus 8 equals to 0. Once you get this, you can solve for t cube now, right? Using the quadratic formula. I will not go into the quadratic formula. I will simply write the value here using the values of a, b, c and using the equation of b square minus 4 c. You can simply write t cube is nothing but minus 20 plus minus 12 root 3 divided by 2, which simplifies to minus 10 plus minus 6 root 3. And these are the two values of p cube that we have. Let's take and let's walk with the positive one. So the positive value of t then would be cube root of 6 root 3 minus 10. Okay. So from this uh, t, we can also find out s. You just have to plug in uh, the value of t in the equation s cube minus t cube equals to 20. And then plug in the value of t cube and find out s cube. And when you find out s cube, you will see that s cube is nothing but 6 root 3 plus 10. Okay. And if you remember the initial substitution where we had uh, 3 st equals to p and the uh, s cube minus t cube equals to that, we were basically solving for the value of y, which can be shown to be s minus t. And this is a fairly simple exercise. If you have any doubts in uh, how to achieve this after even after trying, please let me know in the comment section. I can uh, basically comment the procedure in the comments itself. But this is not a very hard one. Okay, so y equals to s minus t can be uh, derived. So the value of y then should be s minus t. Correct. And since the value of y is s minus t, it is basically cube root of 6 root 3 plus 10 minus cube root of 6 root 3 minus 10. And this is again a problem I have solved before on this channel. You can see on the top right the link for this video. And this can be evaluated to 2. So y equals 2 is the answer.
but we needed the value of x. So remember, x was x was basically y plus five, so x would be seven. And once you get x equals to seven is a root, the same equation that we started with that can be factorized using the vanishing method, which again you can see on the top right a video which explains how the vanishing method works. So using that, you can simply write down that equation as x minus seven whole into x square minus eight x plus 25. This is the factorization of the cubic. And since you know x is 7, from this you can find out the other two roots. And this is the simple procedure. This is simple in the sense that you already know what to do. So we'll review it a bit. So first of all, make a depressed cubic using the substitution x equals to y minus b by 3a. Then simplify. Once you simplify, you get a depressed cubic. For example, I have taken this polynomial and explained everything here. So this was the polynomial we took and we made the substitution x equals to y plus 5 after which we got the depressed cubic y cube plus 6 by minus 20. After that, you have to arrange it in the form of y cube plus p y equals to q. That is, I will write it here again if that was difficult to see. So this is the form you need where p and p and q are basically your numbers. And then make the substitution 3 into s into t equals to p and s cube minus t cube equals to y. And we are basically solving for y equals to s minus t. So we are solving for s minus t. Okay, put in the plug in the values and get value of s from the first equation and plug it into the second equation. You shall always get a quadratic equation in tq. And once you get the quadratic in tq, find the value of t and s from them. And you can plug in y equals to s minus t and then simplify the radical or simply keep it like that. And then plug in the value of y in the equation of x and you finally get the value of x. Once you get the real value of x, you can do polynomial division uh, on the actual polynomial using vanishing method. And then you can get the complete answer of the three cube roots, uh, three roots of this equation. So I hope this was uh, helpful to you. It is usually not used, but then again, uh, if you are really desperate to find a root, this is uh, how you do it using Cardano's method. So thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comment section how you like this video and any other future suggestions as well. Thank you.